Hi, I'm Amy and I want to share with you something I think that is so commonly overlooked in manifesting and I'm going to just spell it out for you right now. Um, there are two sort of main aspects that I deal with in manifesting and if you notice I'm not using the word law of attraction. The reason why is because to me manifesting is more than the law of attraction. The law of attraction is absolutely um, the force, whatever you want to call it, behind how this all works. However, for your part of it, um, your role in receiving your desires, I call it manifesting because that's making visible, uh, being able to see the reality that you want in your physical reality. But to me, it's more than just focusing on your desires. So the first main element aspect that you hear everyone talking about, and you're probably doing this already and wondering why it isn't working, um, because you're doing it very likely by itself is why. And that is you get very clear about your end result, you focus on it, you shift your beliefs, you do all this wonderful stuff, and you focus on your desire, you feel good, you raise your vibration, la la la, and where's my stuff? So I wanna say that yes, that is absolutely how it works, and that's how the law of attraction responds to what it is you want, so that's how it knows to give you. However, I um, notice very easily with people that the reason they're not getting their desire is because they're not doing the other side of it. And the other side of it is dealing with your current reality, your current circumstances, your current conditions exactly as they are. And how to deal with that, the best way I have found is through acceptance, through non-resistance. Now, um, some people call this the law of non-resistance. You can look that up. There's lots of great information about it. Um, Non-resistance is about dealing with your current situation, your current state of being, your current reality, so that you can become as non-resistant to it to allow the other side of it, which is what you've been focusing on your desire, to come into your reality. If you're resisting your reality as it is, you're not in a state of receiving to receive the desire. Now, there are times when you will have resistance and then you can still receive something, yes, but for the most part, just rule of thumb, assume that if you're completely resistant to your current circumstances, um, even if you've been focusing forever on your desire, it's probably not going to show up simply because um, the state of resistance is your current state and the universe, the law of attraction, is responding to your vibration right now, like right this second. So if you want to think about it sort of like you're selecting your order, right? Like if you go to a, um, a restaurant and you order something, the waitress comes, you place your order, they walk away. That's what the focus on your desire part is. The other part of it is while you're waiting, what are you doing? Are you, you know, continue focusing on what you ordered? Maybe, maybe not, but you're experiencing a time lag from when you place the order to when you receive it at the restaurant. It's this time frame that's your current reality that you want to be non-resistant to. So if you see the waitress walk by five or six times and they don't bring your food, you don't freak out and think like, where's my order, right? So this is how life is. So you may see four or five experiences go by in your life that you're like, well, why didn't they bring me my stuff? Why didn't the universe give me that stuff in that particular situation? I know it's so simple and a lot of people use this example of, you know, ordering food. But it's like at a restaurant, but it, it's a really good one if you think about it because it's not just what did you order and were you able to select it and know that it's coming, but what are you doing in the meantime? Are you not resistant? So the reason I don't use the word law of attraction solely um, is because it's just one element for me. I look at you know, focusing on my desires and getting my beliefs in order and feeling good and all that kind of stuff as aligning with my desire, but the rest of the time I'm spending it being as non-resistant to my current reality. So what does that mean? Like earlier today, I'm in this beautiful place in Puerto Rico and um, you know, I was having my morning coffee and relaxing and a, a car horn went off, like constant. And it was on for like five or six minutes. It was really loud. It's like someone's just like on the horn, but probably got jammed or something. Now, a lot of people would become resistant to that. Oh, how irritating. It's hard on the ears, like da 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 da. I've become very non resistant to those sort of things. So I just, for a while, just ignored it, went about what I was doing. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I don't actually have to listen to it. But again, it wasn't an irritation. It was just like a choice. And I put my headphones on and listened to some music. So that's what non-resistance is to your current reality. It's not making a big deal out of what is happening in the meantime. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to absolutely for certain know you're going to get your desire like you would if you're ordering at a restaurant. 
in fact, you can know it's possible and that's enough. It's possible, it exists, the universe has my order, the universe knows what I want. Those types of thoughts and beliefs are perfect. You don't need to know absolutely for sure it's coming. If you can get to that knowingness, fantastic, but you don't need to. Um, if you can get to the it's possible and practice non-resistance of your current reality, you're pretty much golden, you're good to go. So I just wanna put this out there. It is the law of attraction and the law of non-resistance, hands in hands. One is focusing on your desire, one is focusing on your current reality. If you can marry them together, then you will be able to get into alignment a whole lot faster. So I hope this helps. And um, you can also practice non-resistance to your situation involving your desire, so like the lack of it. So you wanna become non-resistant to its absence or the lack of your desire as well. And so you can just ask the universe for help with that, like help me become more non-resistant to the absence of my desire and to non-resistant to experiencing my reality exactly as it is. So I hope this helps. And um, I hope you have a very wonderful day. And again, look up non-resistance and there's lots of different information out there and find the information that works for you. And now you have two things to work on. And also you also have a third thing, which is just be present, live in the present moment. So you have different options of, you know, you don't always have to focus on your desire 24 seven. Um, so I hope this explains why you may not be getting something that you want if you're not practicing non-resistance. <sighs> Cause it's usually what I find people struggling with when they're not getting a result, but they've been focusing and feeling really good about their end, their end result, their desire. I hope this helps. Happy manifesting and have a very wonderful day.